So we're currently at HEB trying to do a big Jolly Rancher. Let me do the world's biggest Jolly Rancher. <laughs> do you think that's going to be enough to fit in that? I think we have more than enough candy to fit. My issue is... My issue... I believe... Is getting the Jolly Ranchers to stick being that there's a gap. So getting them to stick is going to be a tricky part. So... And that's going to be a tricky part, getting them to stick. So I was actually thinking if we buy one... And then just put one on top of the other? We buy one, we freeze one, so it's already solid. The second one, we semi-freeze it, so it's solid structure. And then we just we pop the frozen one on top of it. And since the bottom one is still kind of in the liquefied stage, it'll bind itself to the solid one. But you'll see a gap in between the Jolly Rancher. No, no. Stick with me, woman. Stick with me. So you'll take one. You'll put it in the freezer. Completely finish that. I get it. Pull it out. You have your block. Take your next one. As you put it in the freezer, you take that block and you put it on top okay. of it already. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And because it'll be in, in the frozen state while the other one is in the liquid state. Okay. So hopefully, fingers crossed, the liquefied one will bond to the solid one already. And when it freezes out, we have one massive Jolly Ranger. So we're going to go ahead and buy one of these. I think one smart. Only because of that gap. We won't Check be able Walmart. To, we won't be able to uh, put them together. Check Walmart. Hey guys, what's up? Back to Gigi and Boo. How's it going? <laughs> so as you see here, we're home and we have divided all the candies. Oh, sorry. In different sections, you can see here. So now, we basically have six pounds of Jolly Ranchers. Two bags of these, three pounds a piece. Now we're going to fill them in this. So, unfortunately... <laughs> we had a small, minor camera problem. <laughs> the camera stopped recording. So, <laughs> this is how far we got. And we wanted to show you guys. Literally. All these wrappers. All so, these wrappers. Wrappers there, wrappers here, and then we have about the very first layer. layer as you can see. First layer done. So we're gonna continue to put another layer and another layer. Hopefully about three layers should fit. And we're gonna pop her in the oven. Now since we didn't get to record that layer officially, enjoy us putting one more layer on. <laughs> as we could seriously two bowls two sides of the container maybe like a hundred freaking wrappers everywhere and it's more than a hundred yeah yeah more than a hundred and we're ready to put it in the oven I can't wait they go in the oven you go stay tuned everybody done? No. all right guys so it's done i'm gonna take it out the oven bada bing bada boom you put it on top of the oven Ooh, it smells like jolly ranchers in here it's still hard um put it up up top i don't know if you want to take it out yet 
No, it's done. I need another wrap. Don't spill it. That'll be a messy, mess, mess. Yeah, I need another wrap. One second. Just grab the sponge. Because we're Puerto Rican and we don't have those. It went way lower than what we thought. And there's the mix. Green on this side. Blue on this side. Did you, you want to put it in the light over here? Yeah. Don't put it on the table. You might burn it. I don't think so. Not bad looking. So now we're going to let that freeze. And start second batch. Stay tuned, everybody. GG's over here. Putting uh, stuff in the freezer. Here it is. So you just crunch the sides out a little like that. Get it nice and loose. And voila, the first stage of our of breaking the record of biggest Jolly Rancher. Look at that. Look at the beauty and the color. You see other people, the other YouTubers, they just look like blotchy purple and just mixed color. No, we very much focused on the color because we wanted to get a real nice complexion. We wanted to keep the complexion. So this, not bad. This we're gonna to toss in the freezer. We're gonna start the next batch, and basically, with the next batch, when it's melted down in its liquefied state, we're gonna take this sucker and we're gonna apply it to the liquefied one. Boop! And hopefully, they merge. You gotta play, place it carefully, don't want it to break. Hopefully, they merge, creating a much bigger one. This is just one, I believe, maybe one to two more. And um, we're good. Welcome back once again. Gigi's over here. <laughs> so I know we weren't gonna. I said that we weren't gonna show us loading this one over again, but Gigi is clearly bitching and is giving me a headache. No, I'm not. I just want to show you guys at least the first part how we did it, and then we, you know, not show you guys the rest. Clearly bitching and it gives me a headache. Yo, stop so, pussy. Clearly cocking and it's giving me a headache. That's even worse. So we're just gonna show a quick of how we load it and hopefully it'll shut her up. Thank you guys. Stay tuned. Watch this. You're Ooh. rude. Product. Now, oven's already preheated. That's this amount. Oh, look, you forgot one. <laughs> Leave that right there. So, here she goes. Yeah. 45 minutes on the clock. Now, for those who want to try and attempt to beat this masterpiece we're trying to create. The best way we found, most YouTubers do about 220 degrees to 250 degrees for about an hour. Our success, and it kept the pigmentation or the color, color <laughs> that we like to call it. Um, we actually put it for 300 degrees at exactly 45 minutes, and that was perfect for us. So if you think you can beat it or you try, go down below and send us your link to what you've created but i promise you it's gonna take a lot because we created a six or we're attempting to create a six pound jolly rancher six pounds so again i told you when i looked it up the most i found was about 
one individual who used one of the bags that we used and he did a pretty nice substantial Jolly Rancher that was only about three pounds being it was one bag. We doubled it. So we're going to shoot it for a six pound Jolly Rancher. So stay tuned when we take this out in its liquefied state and merge it with our, <laughs> merge it with our current masterpiece of a Jolly Rancher. And we're gonna take that three pounds and it should turn it to about five pounds and we have about a pound left of Jolly Rancher to merge into the five pound Jolly Rancher we're about to create. So stay tuned guys. So guys, it is done. It's done! So we have our other, our first piece on standby. Womp, womp, womp. And as we exit the second piece, Oh. Snizzle my nizzle. It just looks there. Right. So, while it's in its liquid state, you guys owe me. I'm going to touch this. Oh, schnitz. Okay, it's super hot. While it's in its liquid state, as you can see. <laughs> Don't touch that. He's so stupid. Don't touch that. <laughs> I'm going to apply this one very carefully. Yes, my hands are washed. Bambizo, and I'm just gonna push down a little. I don't like the ah. extra pressure. Just so I can combine these two pretty well. Oh, hold on. Hot is hot. Just so I can make sure these suckers merge. There we go. They seem like I got all the air gaps. Ow! Fuck! No. <laughs> Ear gaps out. And while that beauty is merging, we're going to place her in the freezer. So we turned that measly three in, three pound to a G's. It's got some freaking weight. Five pounds. If I had to say about five pounds, almost six pounds already. So I'm just going to go ahead and try my best to break it loose. There we go. <sighs> <laughs> Bruh! Get on our freaking level, son! <laughs> wow, I was right. All the colors converted together. Because no. once I was water... Yeah, no, you can't dark, even tell. The dark's on the bottom, that's purple. Bro! We're not even done. <laughs> that's a big ass Jolly Rancher. <laughs> I need to rinse my hands. Okay, but let me, cause I don't want to put any stress. Wait, I'm taking a whole like you. To prevent stress on the crack, I'm actually gonna flip it so we can uh, finish harding it out. Whoa. So guys, <laughs> stay tuned as we finish the last, if you see here, the last batch. That should only fill up the bottom. And what we're gonna do, I just washed my hands up while they're wet, is we're gonna fill up the bottom and place this like that on top of it. Hopefully merging all of them together. So stay tuned guys, this is massiveness at its best. So guys, these are the last remaining Jolly Ranchers. And what we're gonna be doing is unwrapping them, putting them in the same order, um, maybe upwards. I'm not sure actually. Actually it is, because these boo-boo's like in the back. So we're gonna put them upwards. And then what's gonna happen is once we're done, we're gonna reconnect it to the other piece and then give you guys the finish humongous piece at the world guineas hit us up you already know world guineas or world guinness world guinness hit us up you already know um because you already know it's gg and blue time you know what i'm talking about yes sir jesus mom amazing we finished the remaining 
of the Jolly Ranchers. We have cherry, grape, and watermelon. Like I said, Jolly Rancher, you definitely played us. There was definitely more jo almond, whatever. Watermelon, cherry. Yeah, I'm gonna repeat that all over again. Jolly Ranchers, you definitely played us because there was definitely more watermelon than any other flavor here. Listen, I don't like it, okay? You should like give an equal amount. I'm just saying I don't work for Jolly Ranchers, but just saying as a buying customer. So we're gonna be bringing it off to the oven now. Wiggly, wiggly, walk. All right, guys, so here you go. Take a look at it. All right, so it's done. We're going to take it out, add it onto the other one, and let's see how it will come out. Because it still has to get cold. Well, with this one, you can see the cherry, the grape. So with this one, you can actually see the cherry, the grape, and the watermelon. I like that. Okay. No. Where don't res no bueno. Doesn't look bueno. So, back into the frisal. Damn, it's really heavy now. And... On with the six pound Jolly Ranch. So one part, yeah, I was just gonna say that one part was way thicker than the other. Oh well, that's how it is. Wait for the, Janelle, I just did it four times in your face. It doesn't work. Listen, Jeez. I don't care. Stay tuned for the finished product, and I hope you like this episode of GG and Boo. Hit us up. Get this record. All right, guys. So it's time to take it out. There it is. Holy snappers. This is heavy, like. That is a big brick. <laughs> Alright. So, oh, since Boo doesn't trust me to take it out. Nope, it's too heavy for her baby out. hands. We are getting somewhere now. Bitch. Stop cursing. I can't. It's hard. Ugh. Oh, I heard the first. <sighs> yeah, you Ugh. destroyed the beautiful pink, the blue. Oh, it's in it. Yes. It's just a little overlap. I don't want that. That's a bitch. World's. Damn, that smells so amazing. Biggest Jolly Rancher, people. Six freaking pounds. Look at this behemoth. Now that is solid from all angles. That is a solid piece of Jolly Rancher. Gigi, how do you feel about the I'm Jolly Rancher? I love it. It smells amazing, oh, but I'm really that. mad at the fact that you destroyed the beautiful green and blue. Yeah, unfortunately, the green and blue didn't go exactly as I planned. Because you didn't listen to me. But it is there. Here, hold this. What do you want me to do? So this is really sticky. Um, I just want to let you guys know. So guys, this is honestly like the world's biggest one. We've seen a guy buy 12 bags, not 12 bags, sorry, 12 ounces Four bags. of Jolly Ranchers. And he- 12 ounces? What is it? Oh, 12, sorry. 12 pounds of Jolly Ranchers, which was four of these. But he only did one to complete his huge little Jolly Rancher. We did two. So, we can see the hassle he went through, though, that he wouldn't have want to do for. Now, I'm letting her wrap that up before you see the final, final product. That's why the camera's not facing it. Mm. 
this side. So we went from this. Oh yes. Joe's making everything a process. Off a bag I'm about to rip. We went from this to that. Dun, dun, dun. What? Six pound. Look at, look at this. Look at the behemoth. This is a behemoth. Six pound Jolly Rancher. Can I eat it now? No, 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 no. So, oh. Gigi, what are we doing with this? I thought you were gonna let me eat it. You're not gonna let me eat it? I thought you were gonna let me eat it. Nah, just joking, guys. So, we're gonna be sending this to one of our subscribers. It's all up to you guys what you wanna do with it. If you even want it. Or if you even want it. But, please like, share, and subscribe, guys. We have more to come. This was just a little like experiment we did to see how it was actually gonna come out. I will actually like to make it even bigger in the future, but. This was a challenge. It really was. It really was. I'm not gonna lie. But it was awesome, it was pretty cool. Didn't think I can actually make something like this even though like anyone does it, but I thought it was pretty cool. Oh yeah. So guys, stay tuned. Stay tuned for the next episode of Gigi and Boo. So until then, like this shit. Thumbnail, thumbnail. Like this side, because you were standing on this. Like, share, and subscribe. And when you do all three, comment. Either I did all three, comment the check mark, comment something telling us that you did it. And or you do it, to show us what you guys want to do with it. Yeah. Like, or what do you guys, you guys want to do with it? If nobody wants it and you guys want us to do something, I'm not eating it. Just, I'm not getting a heart attack. I but will eat it. I'll taste it, but assuming you guys don't want it, but I'm not gonna, this is just too damn much. But again, like, share, subscribe. You can have a chance to own this behemoth, world's largest Jolly Rancher. And you can do what you like with it or like, comment, share, subscribe, and tell us what you want with to want us to do with it. But again, when you do all three, comment you did it, check mark, whatever it is, and we will pick one lucky subscriber and we will also announce it on our next video who will be getting this massive behemoth. <laughs> By far the biggest Jolly Rancher you'll ever find on the internet right now, guaranteed. Unless Jolly Rancher themselves come out with something. Until then, stay tuned for another episode of GG and Boo. We hope you enjoyed this. It was an all day project and it was absolutely amazing to make. <laughs> just to see if we can do it. And we did. So again, 